Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm getting ready to do a little outdoor activation with my KX2, uh, but I was thinking about trying something different for an antenna, but I don't really have any material to put something together. So let me just try something. We're gonna tap into the, the dark arts, the dark RF arts, and, and see if I can conjure something. All right, now we are ready. Let's see if this antennas. Hey everybody, this is Josh KI6NAZ and this is kind of my ongoing series on Willard antenna. I take uh, ridiculous things and try to make them into an antenna. And today uh, we are using the magic telescoping uh, staff or rod. You can buy these off of uh, eBay, um, Amazon, wherever. It's basically a coil, a continuous coil of metal. Uh, and you can actually unwrap the tip here. And you can start unraveling it. And it's metal underneath. I'm assuming it's a light spring steel, but I really don't know. Um, the first thing we have to do is take some of this tape off, and that's what I've done. So let's go to the tabletop really quick, do a little bit of work. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set this up. And we're gonna do an SWR check, and then we're gonna check it on the field. So this is what the magical extending baton slash staff looks like. And so what it is is just a coil of this metal, and when you push this pin, this toggle is spring-loaded, will fall down, and the cane or staff will come flying out. Uh, this is a gimmicky little thing that some magicians may use when they're starting out. I don't know if people still use them, but they were popular not too long ago to get online. And uh, this is some kind of spring steel, or, or I'm assuming it's steel. I mean, it could be aluminum, but the way it reacts, wanting to extend out like that, makes me think that it's some kind of steel. So all I did was I took my tactical keychain here, uh, hobby knife, and I just scraped off some of the metal. That's all I did, or not the metal, the sticker. So once you scraped off the sticker and extended the baton, I used an alligator clip like this to connect to a BNC breakout post right there. Just wide enough that I can clinch it over the top. Now I pre-cut, so I took a shot in the dark. Hey, I don't know if you guys know how I do these, but I take a shot in the dark and I think, hey, what kind of, <laughs> what would this be resonant on? So I took a shot in the dark and thought maybe this would be semi-resonant on 20 meters. So I grabbed a small coil of wire that I have here that happens to be cut as a 20 meter radial. And that will connect to the other side of the antenna off this binding post. And it's going to go into my KX2, so I'm not really worried about the gauge of these wires since we're only ever going to be putting out 10 watts at most. And I'm going to connect it to my Raspberry Pi. We're going to do some digital. It may be hard to make out, but I took the cane and attached it to the roof, the rafters in my garage here. And then connected it via the alligator clip to the breakout. And the breakout has a radial connected, and that's our SWR. So it just dips into 3 to 1, which is enough to run the KX2, but not great by any, any stretch of the imagination. So let's, let's give it a shot. So I wanted to do something kind of fun today, but it's way overcast and raining, so we're just going to test this antenna, maybe try and make some contacts, and we're going to call it a day. So coax, I've got my connectors here, and of course we'll get that radio, or the uh, radiating element out right now. So here's our antenna, whoop, <laughs> and we're just going to put it up on a tree. Not doing anything fancy. And we're just gonna hook this onto a tree limb. Hanging right here now. Got our handy cable. I'm gonna drag the uh, the radial out that way. Hey Edison, do you feel sick? You feel better? Yeah, you don't look like you feel better. Some kind of crazy happenstance. The only station I can hear strongly is this Canadian station. He's got me at a negative 24 on seven watts. Let's see if he can get me. <laughs> Pick me up, man. You gotta do all the heavy lifting here. Oh my God, oh no. Now he's a plus eight. 
he might be pointing his beam towards me if he's got one. Summon more dark magic. I know. Some, where's the dark? I'll wave my little wand here. Oh, no! Oh, he went back to call on CQ. Bummer. Okay, I'm sitting here watching Christmas movies. And this guy came booming in at nine over. I think we can get him. I think we can. I'm hoping. Yes! Success! We did it. Hi, Charlotte. What are you doing? So that does it for the magician's uh, cane. You can get really good with this. I don't I don't practice with it at all, but I saw that YouTube video, viral whatever video on, hey, look how cool this thing is, and you know, wouldn't you like to be the life of the party with this thing? I'll post the link, uh, whatever link I can find to the cheapest one. I think I paid like three bucks for this when I bought it, um, probably over a year ago, uh, thinking about making an antenna video, and I finally had the time to catch up on some of my uh, video ideas with my week off here uh, during the holiday break. So. Happy holidays to everybody. Let me know what you think of this <laughs> wonder magic antenna. I will tell you that the lawn chair dipole seemed to perform better and faster, more consistently than the wonder vertical staff. I have a feeling that's because it's just a dipole versus this, you, you, you're gonna be better off with multiple radials and a better, um, a better setup. It worked though. I was able to make a contact on FT8 and that's usually the, the lowest bar barrier to entry uh, that I consider okay for an antenna. I don't think uh, it didn't work very well on single sideband. Uh, you might have expected that or not. But anyway, tell me what I should experiment with next as far as antennas. What antenna should I make that you think might be interested for the Will It Antenna series? If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. See ya. So that does it for the magician's 